The overall goal of this procedure is to visualize DNA replication on the single molecule level. Begin by incorporating halogenated nucleotide analogs into newly synthesized DNA in living cells. Spot the cells with labeled DNA onto a microscope slide. Then, lyse the cells and stretch out the DNA onto the microscope slide. Subsequent immunostaining of DNA fibers and analysis of the fluorescent microscopy images can illuminate the global replication fork dynamics to allow quantitative analysis of parameters that influence the overall replication program. Over the past years, um, different versions of the DNA fiber fluorography techniques were developed to visualize the movement of individual replication fork within living cells. This in vivo experiment in DT40 cells that you are just about to witness can be accomplished within a day and requires only general laboratory equipment and a fluorescence microscope. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dr. Rebecca Schwab, a postdoc from my laboratory. In order to label DT40 cells in vivo, start with an exponentially growing culture. Add IDU label to a final concentration of 25 micromolar and mix the cell suspension well. Incubate the cells for 20 minutes at 38 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. Next, add the CLDU label to a final concentration of 250 micromolar. Mix and incubate the cell suspension. Now wash the DT40 cells with ice-cold PBS. Resuspend the cell pellets in cold PBS. 